Hi guys, I'm back. So, on with my haul. So this was the Amazon stuff and Daiso. Um, so then let me show you guys um, stuff that I got at Joann's. Let me just get my... No, I'll do this later. Okay, so I was on the hunt for this particular paper collection. Um, thanks to Erica. <laughs> thanks to Erica and Tara. Um, I fell in love with the Bella Rouge papers. And I was looking for the 6x6 six six, um but I didn't find it at um, Joann's and they were having a sale at the time on this paper. So I ended up getting the 12 by 12 because that's all they had. So this is the Bella Rouge um, Pink Paisley by Pink Paisley. And I'm just loving, loving the pink and the yellows. Yeah, right? I'm not usually into yellows, but the pink and the yellow and the black, they just work together. So... um I believe Tara had, um, did she use this? I don't remember if she's used this already, but she was, uh, she got the 6x6, um, it was gifted to her by um, Erica, Scrap Diva 29 So yeah, when I saw it, I was like, oh, that is so cute, because look, it has, it's very glam, it has, um, you know, the, what do you call that? <laughs> The diamonds, hello, unicorns, um, butterflies, you know, it's so cute. And the bows, that is probably like one of my favorite ones. But um, yeah, so cute. So I'm, I'm sure you guys know about this paper. It's been around for a while now. So, but um, yeah, I just couldn't help myself. I had to get it. So that's the 12 by 12. And... It kind of started out with, because um, when I went to San Diego, um, I had purchased this from that cute little shop. Um, what is it? Paper Tails. I found these, and of course it was a little more pricey. So, um, yeah, ever since, you know, then and after watching Erica's video and Tara's video, I just wanted this collection. <laughs> So, um, I got, you know, that, the butterflies. So, Joann's had the best price, so I went and got the ephemera pack, which has, like, silver foils, and that's, I love that. As you guys know, I love my silver, um, but I am loving the gold, too, so just the fact that it's foiled, really, I love it, so... And look how much you get. Let me just show you guys. Oops, I'm sorry. Um, let me show you what you get. Let's see if I can focus. So look at all the little pieces that you get. Love it, right? Glam and glitz. Sparkle and shine. You guys know I love it. I love sparkle and shine. And then I got these stickers, which are, you get quite a bit on this. Um, they're um, chipboard stickers, and so you get these, right? And then you get these, which are the, like the Polaroid, or, um, not Polaroid, but um, frames. And then this one, you get the Polaroid. Isn't that cute? Talented. I love it. It's so cute. So, yes, can't wait to use this collection. Um, I would just love to make a mini. And here is the... Uh, these are stickers too, but they're like the, I think foam, I think, I want to say they're foam, I think. Um, doesn't say, I forgot. But 27 pieces of that. And then I couldn't help it, but I also wanted to get this embossing folder and it says shine bright. 
so cute so pretty I love it so yeah I just had to had to get it and um, that's all I got at Joann's and then oh I these I got it Tuesday morning so that is why you know I found the embellishments first and then I thought okay I have to just get the um, the paper so yeah this one is the alphabet love it so um, okay and then my Michaels haul and let me show you that real quick or um, let's see what time do I have yeah um, so this is like several trips to Michaels and I don't know, I don't know if I showed you guys, but I finally got <laughs> the mink foil because I got my laminator. Yay. So for the longest time, I didn't get my laminator because I do not have a laser printer. I have the, do I have a jet printer? Anyway, it's the wrong kind of printer. <laughs> and so I didn't, you know, I didn't bother and I couldn't afford the mink. I mean, technically I could afford the mink, but I didn't, yeah, it doesn't matter. I still wanted the, you know, I still needed the printer, right? And I couldn't get the mink and the printer. It was, that would have cost me buku bucks. But anyway, um, anyway, I decided to finally get some, this is the chipboard shapes. So I haven't played with my laminator yet. Um... And then you guys know about the mink pen, right? Oh my gosh, I'm dying. I'm like, you know, so I'm so glad I got my laminator. Okay, so at Michael's, I also got, so yeah, I, I used my 40% coupon on this. And that one too, I think I got it on sale. Or I used a coupon. Um, then I found this at the clearance aisle which I don't know if I've shared with you guys, but I'm just into charms lately, and I'm loving, loving these Paris-themed ones, especially if I find it on clearance. Yeah. This was also in the clearance aisle, and I got these three-piece um, recollections. Le Fleur. So I thought that was pretty. Um... I already showed you guys this wire that I've been using, but just to let you know, that's the brand. And it's German style wire, 20 gauge. Um, so yeah, that's the one that I've used on my charm, the dangle. And check out Tara's video, you guys, because she does a tutorial on how to, you know, use the wire to secure your uh, dangles. Okay, and then I got a bunch of clay from my daughter because she just wanted every color. And they were on sale, so. That one. And then there's this pretty purple. Oh wait, is this a purple one? I think so. And then I decided to get her this little Sculpey style and detail tools. So I figured too that I can use, this is kind of big, so she may not use this one, but she can probably use that one. Um, but these two I was thinking um, to make um, the flowers, you know, you know the McGill uh, punch that I just got. I thought this would be uh, useful to me. And this is for shaping, I think, or smoothing out. I want to say it's like a rubber tip, I think. I think. Um, to smooth out your clay. So, um, what else? I found this cord necklace. Did I share this with you guys? I don't remember. But look, you get their 18-inch necklace. Um cords and there's six pieces and I got it for how much was it 
$3.99. And I thought I'd get it for my daughter because, look, we have different cords. She's, you know, making her charms and necklaces for her friends. And I thought this was the best deal here. This was $1.99. And look, you get how many different kinds of chains? Four? One, two, three. I think they're four. So really cute for making the dangles and um, the tassels that I've been making too. And I couldn't resist. This is like my first Halloween <laughs> sequins. And I think I even paid full price for this. So, and then they went on sale. So, uh, oh wait, I don't know if these went on sale. Cause this is the one, this is Createology. The ones that went on sale, I think are the recollections, but I love the pumpkins and the bats and this one that says boo. Cause, um, that's what I call my son. That's his nickname, boo. And I don't know if I shared this one, but look at how pretty this Oceanside um, pendant and I love it so pretty I love the little charms inside it has a seahorse and a star a uh, starfish and I think there's a little turtle in there too so yeah I'm still loving my sea sea themed stuff you know it's still summer and then I've already used some of these beads but let me just share this is the be gallery and this is just a pretty pretty blue so this would be cute for making um you know the dangles or bracelets or what have you stick pins this is on clearance my nephew is in the army so um i got it look at the boots <laughs> i thought i can maybe make them a card or something and it was only 79 cents. Um, the beads were on sale when I had gone, so um, I thought I'd get some stars because I really love these kind of um, glass beads at Michael's. I like the heart ones. And um, But with the holidays, I wanted to get some stars. And then... I like using these split rings for like the double looped um, so that when I make charms for my daughter, she can put that on the necklace and they won't fall off because a lot of the times the jump rings, um, you know, they don't, they're not completely closed or yeah, they just, they somehow get open and then her charms fall off and you know kids are not that careful and then I got at the clearance aisle I got this for my daughter and it's so cute it's like a little washi dispenser and it's Hello Kitty and look it was $12.99 and it was $4.99 so I had to grab it because it has a little gun you guys see that and then um, she can put the little washi. And it comes with that many washi tape. Or decorative tape. I don't know if they're called washi here. Let's see. What is this called? Designer tapes, I guess. So, yeah, they had it clearanced. And they had several at my Michael's. It comes with a bling, too. And, um, yeah, I think it's... Gives you like a few projects. Comes with stickers as well, I think. Okay, that's not in English, so. <laughs> um, yeah, so cute. And then um, this was also on clearance, and it is a dream diary kit. So cute. Um, but yeah, that's really cute. And then I'll move, move this. One last thing from Michaels. I thought I'd, you know, get my 
daughter's desk organized and she picked this color. This is a four piece desk, desk set and there were five dollars. Um, I think it was last week and they're gold trimmed and you get, let me just show you the picture, that's what you get. You know, the sticky notes for the folders or paper. Um, and then a little box for your pencils and pens and things like that. So trying to get organized, you guys. <laughs> trying to get my kids to organize their school stuff too. So, um, oh wait, I have a couple more things from Michael's. Ow. I just dropped something on my foot. <gasps> Okay, so see these, you know how these go on sale all the time, these photo albums, and then you have the three ring binders. So this was kind of what I was thinking of maybe doing for my coworker um, um, that um, safari paper. I was thinking of maybe just doing kind of like a project life thing for her and then using this because I found a lavender um, one here, lavender colored photo album and you know I'm probably just gonna like decorate the front and then just kind of do like a project life thing for her so um, these of course come with the um, magnetic pages so I usually just take those out and um, sorry for the glare and then um, you know maybe I'll put a charm here or I don't know yet I'll figure it out but um, yeah, I was thinking of just doing that. And these were clearance too. So I want to say, because when these go on sale, they're usually like three bucks maybe, or, you know, f three for ten dollars, or maybe four for ten dollars. But anyway, these were like two dollars, I think, because they were clearance. So I found that in um, the lavender. And of course, I had to get a pink. So, yeah. So, there you go. That is my mega haul. <laughs> my cumulative haul. Um, wait, do I have time? Real quick, actually, one more thing. I got my super secret stamp from the super secret stamp club, um, the greeting farm. And so cute. This is the three. So when I ordered this, what happened was I was supposed to get it in June, July. Wait, July, August, September, right? One, one every month. But when I placed my order, I didn't realize that it was um, international. So they mailed it out on the second month, which, you know, um, August, they mailed it out to me. Um, late August, like the last week of August, and I just hadn't shared it with you guys, but this is the new um, Super Secret Stamp, and this one's Ezra, so this is the photographer here, and my, my husband calls him the emo um, stamp, so he's not too crazy about this one, <laughs> but I like it. He has a little Polaroid. Polaroid. Um, she's really cute. Evie. So she's the edgy techie. You can see she has a little um, iPhone there or could be an iPad. Oops, sorry. Uh, what happened? There you go. So she's so cute with her little beanie. And then this one's my favorite right here. She's so cute. And this is Blair. And she's wearing the little um, little cap on her head and the glasses. And so there's your creative one. So yeah, these are the three greeting form stamps. Um, so I thought, you know, I gave it a couple of, well like six months really um, I gave it a try you know and see if I really liked the super secret stamp club 
um, getting my stamps that way. But, you know, I realized I think I'm just going to get them individually because, you know, sometimes there's some that I'm not that crazy about. Um, like, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if I would have picked this one because there's, I have other stamps that have, you know, like the image um, holding a camera. I don't know. I'm not, I don't have a lot of boy stamps, so maybe this will be useful eventually. But yeah, um, I think I'd rather just purchase them individually. Um... There's so many stamps, so there's so many that I don't even have. Um, so I know they have some um, Halloween stuff too. And the fact that Tracy is now carrying these in her shop, Art Attack, carries greeting farm stamps. I'm just, you know, I might just go through her now. So, yeah. But there's my haul, guys. So thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good weekend. Have a good holiday. And don't shop too much like I do. So <laughs> talk to you later. Bye.